Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're finally back. We're pushing some videos out. We got a special one for you today. Brand new pattern to the lineup. Now, I'm naming this one after a good bud, old Mosby Shad. Now, I don't know if it's because he kind of old and looks like a shad, got some scales falling off. Uh, we also throw this in Mosby Cove, one of the great coves on my home lake this time of year, er, kind of late fall, early winter, shad really moving up into those pockets. This is going to be a deal killer. And got four baits here we're going to do it in. If you have not thrown the Berkeley Money Badger, you need to go buy some. Even their FX shad pattern has been, I mean, it has been tremendous all fall. Well, I'm looking to add some green country flavor to the old Berkeley Money Badger, and we're going to be painting a Mosby shad. So come, come on, join me. We're going to go spray some paint. All right, let's see. You, we, we, uh, you ready for some Mosby shad? So we've sandblasted our bait. We're going to lay down a um, kind of a yellow bone, not really a bone, but a, kind of a yellow white. And um, that's going to kind of be our base coat on this. Uh, don't forget at the end, I'll give you my recipe for how we're doing it. Uh, usually don't show a lot of the base coating, but we're going to go ahead and give you a little bit of it. I know with this, oh, airbrushes are at the point where we're needing a deep clean. Two things. We've taken about six, eight months off of painting. And even though I clean my brushes up after every spray session, we're still Like anything else, you let it set. Now we want this color, really doesn't matter how well you cover it on the top. Um, we're gonna cover most of that up with some, some different unique colors. Again, this is a new pattern to the lineup. <clears throat> Little dude I work with, he, he, he says he checks my videos out. We're fixing to find out, because if he does, He's going to be wanting a copy of this Mosby Shad for his little arsenal. He'll get out there and fish a little bit. So let me know, Scott. We're going to find out if you really watch these videos. All right. So there's our... There's our base coat, and again, it's it's an off-white. It's really just uh, the majority of white, got just a little bit of transparent yellow mixed in. Okay, so fairly easy pattern. We'll go ahead and heat set. I'm telling you, I'm just accidentally picked one of these money badgers up um, at some point or another and thought, well, let's give them a try, and my gosh, picked up that FX shed pattern and I'm we I mean I I've caught a lot of fish let's put it like that caught a lot and lot of fish so uh really big purchase uh I don't know if there's a lot of hype behind it or not but I'm telling you the action the sound um the rolling action vibration I'd, I'd like to do it in a little swimming pool test but we got the pool closed down it's cold it's November so here we go, um, fairly simple uh, pattern. Uh, we're gonna come back with a little, wrong brush, we're gonna come back with a little black. And uh, we're just gonna come up around the head and the eye. Darken that up. We're going to come straight down that back. Mm 
and then toward the tail I'm gonna let it kind of drift down the side to give my secondary color there something to show through the scales we're gonna leave that middle section open go not a lot of colors in this one but uh, we're going to let me find my find me a good scale here now this thing's got a big old wide bill on it uh, we're gonna stand that up let me check let me raise the camera up just a tad now. We've got a nice little gold here, a metallic gold. That uh, I want some little scales. I don't know this. This will work. But, uh, let's find a good little area right here. Right down the back, and leave some room for another color. Cover most of that black up. We're good. I'm sure this camera isn't really picking up, but that's going to provide some flash. Uh, we're not done, so next up we've got a little bit of a metallic blue. We're going to turn the pressure way down. We're about 13, 15, something like that. And we better come up a little bit. This metallic wouldn't just spray real, real good. All right, now just over that black, we're going to be going to tint this blue in on the tail. Golly, that's not what you wanted. We'll fix it. So we got a brush acting up here. Let's see. We didn't fix much, but it happened. So, like, you know what I mean? We're fixing to have to redo this one. But even though it's not too bad, actually, uh, that's this side looks good. We just want a little bit of that metallic blue on the on the back side of the tail over that black we drifted down. We'll go ahead and finish it. We got four more of these. Uh, I keep this one for my bass fishing ain't gonna be no problem uh, the real key to this pattern lies in let's see we've got this uh, iridescent luster pigment i don't know if you can see that i got that in the camera uh shimmering red and that's going to go on the clear coat. And 
we're going to spray that lightly within. We're not going to put just a whole lot in it, but that'll, that'll give that overall bait a little bit of a sheen of a magenta reddish looking color and really make that off-white kind of pop. So anyhow, we need to uh, we need to paint our eyes a little bit. And I'm just going to go in the center. I'm going to leave the gold on the outside of that eye. And what I mean by the outside is that one. Very inside. And we're going to come back with just a little bit of our black. And we're going to get us a people now. You know, if you want to take, you, should, you know, I didn't. I just wanted to paint the eyes this time. You can uh, obviously remove the eyes, and I was going to do it on these, but these are a little bit, a little bit different shape. Uh, but we're going to get our little nail head like we always do, and give ourselves a big bright black pupil. And it wouldn't be a shad style bait if we didn't do some kind of shad dot. And rather than use our nail, again, I kind of like some irregularities in, the, in our bait. So I've taped off just off of some of this FX stuff. And we're going to go just behind that hook hanger. what kind of shad dot we're gonna do so on this one we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and show you the clear coating process um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these other three because all four of these um, we've got the 7.25 money badger we got the 675 we've got a DD 22 and we got a deep lip in uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, those three baits caught up uh, when you join me back, we're going to go put in some shimmering red into our clear and give these baits their final coat. See you in just a minute. Uh, we got the thing on them. We'll put my uh, respirator on. It's not going to be able to talk a lot. But what we're going to do is we're going to spray a little of this clear down the back. around some of this gold in the eyes because I really don't want a lot of the shimmering red over that gold. Mainly the back. I'm not that concerned with the cheek. Don't really want it in the blue either. some shimmering red.
doesn't take a lot. Okay, kind of hard to shoot a video and talk on this one, so I'll probably put some background music behind it, but uh, for your enjoyment. Anyway, you probably can't pick up the shimmering red in that, but as this clear coat dries, and when you you look at this bait in the light, man, it's really gonna it's really gonna pick up. So anyway, Money Badger in the Mosby Shad new lineup. I think this is going to be dynamite. Hopefully, I'll get to shoot some winter footage of us out on the lake putting this pattern to work. So until next week, Green Country Baits, signing out.